Hey everyone, this is Jesse from DarkStormReviews.com and welcome to New Comics and Booze for May 21st, 2014. As always, first the booze. Uh, today we've got uh, Shock Top Raspberry White. Uh, I've had the regular Shock Top before, which is Anheuser Busch's version of a Belgian wheat beer, white beer. Um, I think it's okay. I mean, especially for something from uh, from Anheuser Busch, uh, it's uh, it's pretty decent. Um, this is the new raspberry one. I think it's new anyway. I hadn't seen it before. So uh, let's give it a go in my whole garden glass. Whole garden's good. Uh, oh, okay. Looks very fizzy. Sort of, uh, yeah, it's a little cloudy and pale. Doesn't really look quite like uh, a proper white beer. You can smell the raspberry. All right, let's see here. Yeah, very fizzy, almost like a soda. Although the head's lasting a little longer than a soda does. <clears throat> hmm. Very raspberry, sweet. It doesn't really taste like a beer. I mean, there's, there's plenty of good fruit beers out there. Um, this is not really one of them. Uh, for example, Saint Ambois uh, apricot uh, beer. That, that's really good. I like that. Um, <clears throat> still, it's apricot y, but it still tastes like a beer. Um, this, not so much. Yeah, it's very raspberry sweet, which is fine, um, but it doesn't really taste like a beer. It's more like um, not quite a, a sweet fruity cocktail, um, carbonated, um, but um, not far off. Uh, it's, yeah, it's really not much of a beer at all. It's not horrible. Um, well, actually, if we're judging this as a beer, it is horrible, um, but uh, just as a drink, um, it's okay, it's not bad, I, I won't buy it again, but uh, well, there you go. Uh, so, on to the comics. Um, I received an email from Silver Snail yesterday uh, saying three of the comics that I reserved had gotten um, sold out, meaning not enough copies were ordered for the amount of people who reserved them. So, excuse me. I went out to comic book shop a um, few hours before, during my lunch break actually, at work. Um, I went down there and I found two out of the three. Um, it was uh, Monster and Madman 3, Supergirl, and uh, Lola XOXO from uh, Aspen. Um, I quite liked the uh, the first issue of this. Uh, the artwork was really nice. Story was good. Um, I don't follow a lot of Aspen titles. Uh, the last one I followed was Bubble Gun, which I enjoyed. That was pretty good. Um, and I'm trying out uh, Journey now too, actually, uh, in back issues. Um, yeah, the the artwork is a. Uh, um, it's a little different uh, from the usual Aspen uh, stuff. I mean, regardless of uh, who's who's drawing it, uh, Aspen tends to have a, um, a kind of a, you know asp the Aspen look, if you will. Um, um, but uh, the Lo Lola Lola's artwork is uh, a little different because it's uh, it's a lot sketchier. Um, than uh, than most of their books, which uh, tend to be much uh, uh, very clean, polished, uh, bright and colorful. Um, so uh, the, the sketchiness of this artwork and also the coloring style is uh, pretty different from Aspen as a whole. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And this was the la was the last copy the comic book shop had too. Uh, and then we have uh, Supergirl, uh, still in uh, Red Daughter of Krypton, number thirty one. Um, let's uh, flip through here. Oh, let's see. What we got a. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice uh, page there. Yeah, I've been really, really been enjoying uh, Kara as a, as a Red Lantern. Oh, she's uh, squabbling with Blees there. 
So there you go. And so then I went over to the Silver Snail later after work. And lo and behold, where is it? Do, do, do. Uh, so Kin, the manager there, he told me um, that uh, someone who had Monster and Mad Men Reserve decided he didn't want it anymore. And so he, he can put it aside for me. Yay! So I got all the comics that I wanted after all. Uh, so this is issue three of three. Um, I really, really like uh, this series a lot. I love the artwork. I mean, this, 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 these two pages here. I mean, check that out. I mean, that's that's just beautiful, darkly beautiful. Uh, I really like artwork like this. It's great stuff. There we go. Okay. And, oh, and then uh, he threw something free in my bag, which I'm guessing a lot of other people got today. Oh, what's this? Greetings from Ticklehead. Whatever this is, E1. Make sure to ra watch the Grand Seduction in theaters. Okay, so it's a movie, movie ad. Uh, and uh, DC Entertainment Graphic Novel Essentials and Chronology 2014. Uh, this was free. Um, so, yeah, pretty much just what the title says here. Um, you can uh, flip through this to see uh, what order you should read uh, um, all the graphic novels in uh, so that uh, you're not lost and you're reading stuff out of order and whatnot, which is very helpful. Marvel has these too, of course. Uh, Marvel and DC. I think DC has this digitally as well. Marvel uh, does. If you go to like Marvel, Marvel.com or, or Comixology for free, you can get um, uh, the digital Marvel version of, of this to uh, what order to read their graphic novels into, which is really, really handy uh, to have. Uh, what's next? Amazing Spider-Man issue two. Uh, getting back into the, the real Peter Parker. Oh, Iron Man and uh, Spider Woman there. And it was off to a bit of a slow start for me for the first issue because it was just a whole bunch of, you know, short stories, which, I mean, it wasn't bad, it was okay. Um, I, 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 I would have been satisfied with a, a normal sized issue though. Um, so yeah, there we go. So it looks like uh, Peter's uh, trying to deal with uh, uh, what's her name, Ms. Marconi, Doc Ock's girlfriend. Uh, Original Sin issue two of eight. Uh, I have been enjoying this uh, uh, this event so far. Uh, who holds the eye? Who indeed? That's a pretty cool cover. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, there's. Uh, there's a big page there. Do do. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Uh, Axe Cop, the American Choppers. Uh, if you haven't read any Axe Cop stuff, I'm so happy that there's a new Axe Cop series out. Uh, this is great. This is. Uh, for those who don't know, this originally began. I don't know how old the kid is now. Um, I have to look into that. Uh, but when this series uh, first began, miniseries, uh, I guess a few years ago, um, it was uh, two brothers. This uh, older guy, I think he was like around 20, and his uh, oops, his little brother uh, was five, maybe or three, I, maybe five, um, and uh, he was the the writer. I, um, I forget who's who now. Um, but yeah, he was basically the writer, so it was uh, all from the mind of like this five-year-old, which is completely ridiculous. I mean, this, all the Axe Cop, Axe Cop comics I read, which was just the the series before this, uh, from I guess it was from last year. I don't remember exactly how long ago the last one was. Uh, it was uh, President of Axe Cop, President of the World. It was just hysterical. Uh, I absolutely loved it. Um, it's just completely ridiculous it's it's the kind of story that only like a five or seven year old could could write um, so uh, I'm pretty excited to read this uh, yeah uh, Deadpool annual number two uh, I'm still not completely caught up on mr. Wade's adventures so oh, Spidey's on this one look at that 
um, yeah, I have a little bit of catching up still uh, to do uh, on the Deadpool series. Uh, Rocket Girl 5? Five? 5, we're up to 5 already. Um, I really like Amy Reader's uh, artwork uh, in this series. I, I mean, the, the story overall is pretty neat too. Um, which of course it has to be, otherwise I wouldn't keep uh, getting it just for the artwork. Um, but the artwork is really, really nice. Uh, I always, always liked Amy Reader. Um, here's another good... Uh... Oh, here we go. There we go. Uh, Star Wars, Darth Maul, son of Dothomer. Dothomer, Dothomer. Uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, Mr. Maul. Uh, I bought the the last uh, mini series uh, of him, uh, comic mini series, uh, which I really enjoyed. Um, I've also got uh, the first uh, little graphic novel um, of his. Oh, General Grievous! Cool. I love General Grievous. Grievous isn't isn't he awesome? Um, yeah. So I'm not sure what the time time period is of this when this one. Um, this story takes place. I'm very eager to read that. I've also got, if I can get it quickly here, I'll show you. Oh yeah, the Darth Maul Shadowhunter novel. I bought this well quite a while ago, I guess. Um, this is an awesome book. Um, if you like Darth Maul, um, it uh, that that book ends just as Episode One, uh, Phantom Menace, begins. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, Harley Quinn issue six. Uh, I'm behind on this. Uh, some people are getting tired of this, uh, so I don't know if I should have bought this or not. I haven't read four or five yet, um, so I should definitely get on that so that uh, just in case I'm not so into this anymore, I don't keep uh, buying it every month. Um, artwork still looks nice though. It's got that going for it at least. Uh, Sinistro, issue two. I uh, quite like the first issue. This is a really cool cover too, by the way. Um, so pick up issue two. Uh, Sinistro is a great character. Um, I don't know how long his own series is going to last for, um, especially with uh, it being yet another Lantern book. There's quite a few Lantern books uh, out now that uh, now that this is out there. <coughs> um, yeah, and I actually think the main the main Lantern book, Green Lantern, I think that's actually the weakest of the bunch right now. Uh, and it's not one that I have been following regularly. Um, although I am uh, I am checking out Uprising to see how that is. Saga returns in issue 19, chapter 19. Um, right, so we get to see more of uh, more. Uh, we get to see Hazel now, right? I think. Yeah, yeah. Is that her? I don't know. I haven't really, I haven't looked through this at all yet. I don't know if that's supposed to be Hazel or, or someone else. But uh, we shall see. Don't want to spoil anything. And lastly, we have Velvet issue five. Uh, if you haven't been reading this, this is a really great, uh, like, uh, espion espionage. Uh, spy action uh, thriller from uh, Ed Brubaker and uh, Steve Epting. Um, great writing, great artwork. Uh, like this quite a bit. Um, yeah, very cool stuff. Okay, so that's about it. Um, now that uh, Comic Con is uh, well past, and uh, I've gotten all my Comic Con videos up. Uh, I should have time to start writing uh, reviews again in Bagged and Boarded on the uh, website darkstormreviews.com which will be Bagged and Boarded issue 26, I guess. Hopefully that will be up sometime this week uh, with five more issues, five, five of the is, uh, issues reviewed. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm Jesse from darkstormreviews.com. Thanks for watching and see ya.